the charge and the gladiators. Both teams look to follow in the footsteps of the Defiant and take another step towards the stage one playoff. This was a great matchup and it all started back on Nepal. And we came into this one with some awesome play from Hotba on the far. This one had somewhere all kinds of excited. <laughs> you had Happy running the Hanzo. But at the end here, Gladiators continue to cause problems. What did you guys see when watching this game? So uh, I think the charge, I got to reevaluate, I think, where I placed them in terms of my mind. But I also think that the Gladiators, as I said earlier, have improved so rapidly that I actually am a bit confused as to where to place them as well. So I don't know if it's a case of the, the Guangzhou kind of underperforming a little bit, because I still think they are one of the better teams in our league. Uh, and they've definitely shown that in this match because it was so close, such a close series between the two. But the Gladiators have just got that, something, something a little extra, you know? They got that spice now. They found the magic. Is Something's it working for them. <laughs> like, uh, did you say is it Is it, it the 18-year-old decay? I, I, well, like, clearly, I think it is. Now they found their synergy. Zoe, you mentioned it. You know, finally, these 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 tanks are working well together like they did before on Kongdu Panvera. They found their, their sort of mojo, if you will. And it's it's working so well for them. I'm honestly shocked time and time again now that the more that I watch this team play at how good they actually are now. Am I over? Am I over stating this? I don't know. I've, I I have silence on the. Yeah, board. I mean, I've everyone's tried. looking confused. I think we saw hydration running a hamster, and all of our brains <laughs> shut off for a second. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I I think that they actually have refound that that mojo, the like mojo. you say. And a lot of a lot of teams after their win were saying, "Oh, look at Gladiators! They're finally cashing in on their scrim bucks. This has always been one of the best teams in scrims. They just couldn't translate it to the stage." Big Goose said after their last match, they had overcome some of their comms issues. And they're looking strong right now. For me, it's really a shame that we're not going to be able to see them in the playoffs. Yeah, unless I there's agree. like an incredibly yeah. Byzantine scenario that they would have to navigate through in order to get there because this is a top eight team in the league. Right I was going to ask Zoe, so this team came in at 16th coming into today's match. Now they're sitting at a three and four record and we'll jump up our standings. But how high do you have them? Are they in your top 10? Where would you place them? I kind of zoned out there for a second. Which team are we talking about? Yeah, gladiators, gladiators. There we go. Yeah. Uh, I think if they can uh, continue in that trajectory, yes.